What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here. Welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. And yeah, I am excited. Um, we have a team recap for you. Yay! Anyway, so uh, last episode, uh, we caught this bad boy named Seth, the awesome, awesome, awesome Garchomp. Hopefully, I don't know if it's awesome or not. With the mood or careful in nature. Uh, and storm drain. Oh, that could be useful. Uh, with the moves spatial rend, dig, hydro pump, and outrage. Honestly, this is a very interesting Pokemon. Storm, um, storm drain will raise my special attack, I believe, as well. If I do draw in a water type move. So, I could be a special Garchomp. Imagine that. Like, imagine being a special Garchomp. Like, what the heck? That doesn't seem right. Ah, it's evening time. Yay! We hardly recorded during... Wait, why is it evening time? I thought this would be dark time. You know what? I'm not questioning it because it's evening time. Yay! Um, And evening time is, like, a really fun time in terms of the game. 18... Is it trying to, is it treating it like it's, but no, no, military time, this is 618, yeah, ba -ba -da -ba -da! so that's weird, I thought that that would have, uh, like, drawn in the fact that, hey, it's nighttime, but it does not, so that's a cool thing, note, um, for us in the future, so, honestly, our team, the way it's built right now, I am enjoying it, of course, I didn't show off the other two members, um, because I'm a dumb, uh, but we have Brittany, the Feebass, Giga Impact, that's literally all Brittany has. What? What? Whoa, 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 what, what, what? What? Uh, um... Wait, does that mean in battles that if somebody uses a water type move, it's gonna just go to me no matter what? It's not at all what I thought it was. Oh no. Did it get buffed in Gen 5? I swear you're, you're immune to water. Storm Drain Pokemon. I found this on the web. Hmm. No. Where? Ah, uh, yeah, Gen Five is when I changed it. Gen 4. Storm Drain forces all single target water type moves to strike the Pokemon with this ability, including those used by allies. What? No. So that means Surf won't work with this Pokemon. No, 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 no. What? Water type moves will never miss this the Pokemon with this ability unless it is a semi invulnerable turn, such as dive or fly. Surf will never miss the Pokemon in the in the semi invulnerable turn of dive. Storm Drain can only redirect dive the turn that dive deals damage. Storm Drain cannot be redirected cannot redirect water type judgment or natural gift. If this Pokemon becomes the center of attention, water types. Wow. So in Generation 5, along with its previous effect, Storm Drain also gives immunity to the water types and raises special attack. Oh, that hurts. So that means that Garchomp's ability is bad. No, it's, it's a Ford. 
which automatically makes it not my next stats. That sucks. That is super. Super's unfortunate, <clears throat> but it is the case. Also, the whole point was not to use sparks, and then I ended up having to use sparks. <laughs> of course. Um, I was like, okay, I'm going to try not to use sparks. I'm going to try and use Garchomp so that we can get Garchomp up to level. Because I think level 16 is what I have to get to. For the next gym, and sparks is already there. But no, we, we just can't have good things, apparently, in this, in this Nuzlocke. We just can't have good things. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a good thing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, our encounter in here is a Sentrin. I'll, I guess, I mean, I guess it's, it, it's an easy catch. It evolves early. It has slash. I'm going to try. Boom. I'm going to name you Lucario. Lucario. Watch Lucario have just god tier set. I mean, there's already a slash, which already tells you that it's good enough to be something. Oh, it's Jolly and Shadow Tag. Okay, I wouldn't have been able to escape. Oh, wait. It didn't have... It had Slam. Oof. I mean... It could be oof if you think about it a certain way, but... I mean, Slash is better than Slam, let's be honest. Like, Slash I would have preferred more, but... I 100% would have preferred Slash more. But we're going to live with our situations. Seth is going to just beef up and it's going to work just fine. Because we're going to get to Orberg and we're going to kill it and it's going to be great. And we're going to kill Effie in particular. And we're going to kill a Darkrai. We're just going to have fun murdering literally everything on the route. Electrode murdered. Everything murdered. You have this Pokemon, it's dead now. That is what happens. Graveler, it's murdered. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this. This Pokemon, dead. This Pokemon, completely dead. This Pokemon, shattered from existence. This Pokemon, I wish I could have. I mean, I don't even know. Okay, honestly, we gotta talk about Feebas. Because how in the heck does Feebas evolve? And, like, I don't even know how Feebas evolves. And I'm like, I don't know what I can do to make Feebas better. Oh! Bye, Outrage. Have a great day. Like, I really don't know how to make Feebas better. If I'm being perfectly honest. Or how to make Feebas. Like how to evolve Feebas. Like. That's super important information that I have to know. But if I don't know. Then I can't do anything with it. Oh hi Yuxi. How about. um Dead. Fine. If you don't want to die. You're going to die now. Togekiss. There we go. Find a Pokemon I have to switch out on. A Pokemon that I unfortunately have to switch out on. Okay. So now we're going to get our three encounters. And then... Honestly, this is going to be a short episode of Saga Lock. Um, because I have a episode... What was supposed to be episode 100. But is unfortunately going to be episode 98. With... Um, Carparino. I was gonna say a special guest, but you know, we all know who Carparino is. Whoopsies. I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're literally gonna see this on Friday because you're gonna get a full weekend to Sog Log. Have fun with that. Oh, hi, Wine Roll. We're catching you. We gotta catch the Wine Rolls. We have to catch Hawaiian Rolls. We have to try to catch Hawaiian Rolls at least.
trying to think of how to catch a wine rolls. Actually, could Brittany catch a wine rolls? We'll find out. I don't know. Giga Drain might do a lot. I didn't even do a thing. That didn't help at all. I was like, we're going to use Brittany and risk Brittany and then just like for it to just do nothing and literally not mean a thing. Or, okay, no, Brittany. Yes, you got the Hawaiian roll. Okay, we got to name this Hawaiian roll. If we don't name it Hawaiian roll, I'll feel stupidly bad. I'm super excited. We got a Hawaiian roll. We got a Seth. We really got a really fun cast. And we got Brittany. Brittany's just sitting there doing nothing because it's an ugly fish. But it's fine. Um, Brittany kind of helped catch this Hawaiian roll. So, like, I'm not even going to be mad. We got a Lucario. Like, honestly, are we playing mascot lock? Honestly, like, that's the real question. That's the question. Is it a mascot lock? I don't know. If we get a Charizard, then it just is. So I want to keep the PP up in the game. But I'll sell this. Because I don't think I can buy Great Balls yet. Cool. Route 207 is going to be a hopefully good encounter. A Murkrow. You know what? It's two Murkrow. It really is mascot log. Honey with airlock. I mean, I'll see. What does Chatter do? Ah, uh, it was a crit. Okay, never mind. Let's go! Uh, we got it! Okay. I'm gonna name you 2-Bit because you're 2 bit crop. And honestly, there is uh, things I can get here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those as well because I might as well. A toxic orb. Actually, that I say that I said that so casually. For that to be that good of an item, and for me to just say that as casually as I did, it's just amazing. Of just like the amazingness and how casual I managed to say that is just, and that's it. Just was amazing. Okay, final encounter of the episode, and then I will text Carparino and be like, okay, this is actually episode ninety-eight because I'm dumb, but. It's okay. Oh, wait. Can I get that before I mess up? Max Repel. Okay, that doesn't really help. Oh! It's like Joy's freaking best Pokemon in her draft league. Okay. And it's got Air Slash. Let's go. There, I was like, Sparks, come on, my dude. You can, I'm like, you can do better than that. Snapped out already. 
Agility Air Slash. That's like a, such a good moveset. And I think you have the thing that allows you to snap out like turn one of confusion. Yes. Okay, cool. Look at that. I'm going to name you. Crap. What is Joy name it? You know what? Frick it. I'm texting Joy mid video. I don't care. We text, we text Joy mid video sometimes. This Joy is amazing and lovely and Honestly, I want to name it after Joy's freaking Yanomega. Question. What do you name your Yanomega in FAP League? Thank you. You'll see why shortly. Boom. Ernesto. Hi. Oh, why'd you get transferred to box one? We have a full team? So Brady's gone. Brady's off the team. I don't care. <laughs> like, I just didn't even realize we had literally a full team already. Oh, hi, you lava wall. La, 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 Also, Dino! We could have had Dino. I don't know. Would Joy prefer a Dino or an Ernesto? That is the question of the day. Would, would Joy rather have Dino or an Ernesto on her team? I don't know. That is a good question, and I like the question. A lot, because I made the question. But who are we putting in the box? Depositing... Honestly, Brittany. I, like, there's no question. <laughs> because I don't even know how to evolve Brittany, let alone... Even though it's like my second favorite Pokemon, Ernesto's good to have on the team. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye-bye-bye.